Houston, and we also have a gallery at Silver Creek this winter. Uh, in the summertime, we have a gallery at Cass, uh, right behind the uh, depot. So, first of all, I wanted to thank you for the opportunity to come this morning and, and present our um, financial position with you and let you know a little bit about what we've done with the funds that, that you uh, so graciously gave us uh, in 2015. And um, uh, we weren't... Um, we, we were cautious about what we spent because we didn't know how much we were going to get and what, what we could go forward with. So we didn't spend everything that was given to us, but we have visions. Um, what, uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> we have dreams. Um, what my associate here passed out to you is our, our letter uh, explaining who we are and our financial statement. A list of the small business uh, uh, membership in our co-op. We have 38 members at present and um, and we're building on those uh, memberships. The whole purpose of our um, organization is to help small businesses although they might, you know, people look at them as, well, they're crafts, they're, they're arts, that sort of thing. Um, it's to build small businesses and we grew from about 29 to 38 businesses this year, this past year. So you can see that we are <coughs> growing. Uh, I'm not going to insult your uh, intelligence by reading through a bunch of um, this information. You can read that for yourselves about the, the funds that were dispersed and how they were used, what's remaining. Um, the um, last sheet that was given to you was special recognition and I would like to take the opportunity to introduce two of, of my associates. These people were on the ground level to develop this co-op and they had a vision uh, and it was to bring together artisans and, and crafters into one location where they could present their uh, crafts and where they could have a, a medium for the sales. And it's not just just any artisan or craftsperson. These people that present at our gallery have to jury in. Uh, this is Woody Harmon and his wife Brenda. And, and they might be transplants into Pocahontas County. But let me tell you something. They're Pocahontas County proud. And I'm proud of them. They're not just artisans. They are juried into Tamarack, both of them. Brenda, Brenda makes brooms, and Woody is our blacksmith. And they're, they're not just juried into Tamarack. Hey, they're in the West Virginia, wonderful West Virginia magazine. So I feel like we have a treasure here. And they're building on this vision, the dream to see small businesses uh, come together and have a place where they can um, provide these services and people can grow. Um, we have within our organization the opportunity for people to um, increase their knowledge about their art. Um, they can go to we, we provide scholarships where they can go to additional schooling to um, improve on what they have. Um, we look for young artists, uh, young craftspeople that can become a part of our group. And we can only do this through the funding that we receive from, um, from you. Um, it has helped in such great ways that uh, probably we wouldn't have been able to have been uh, a gallery in cast without the 2015 um, grant that was given us from hotel motel taxes. So we we have a vision to expand hopefully um, more space um, because we we need additional people in our group. Um, we help other organizations, the uh, Art Guild and, and others uh, with some of their people that they bring in to teach, be instructors and that sort of thing. 
And you'll notice in what we've given you about our distribution of funds that we give to other organizations that they can increase their artistic and, and their, their craft work. So we would like to request to be considered again in 2016 um, in the hotel motel tax. Thank you all very much. Any questions? Um.